This is going to be the scent that you absolutely need. What is good you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kayla lachey and today we are getting into spring fragrances basically smell goods not just for your body but also your home space i feel like i'm a creature of habit and i have my staples which you guys will be seeing in this video today so big thank you to my friends over at dossier for collaborating with me on today's vlog i will link them down below so you guys can get in on all of their amazing scents for your home and then perfumes they also have original scents out right now which i picked up one and I really wanted to review it for you guys and see if it's good because they do a lot of luxury like dupe fragrances which I think is really cool because we're out here trying to save money y'all already know but I don't want to sacrifice having to smell good in the process I like nice things but I don't like expensive price tags and that is definitely one of the main reasons why I've loved dossier for several years now I have my staple fragrances from them and I do have one of their oil diffusers in my bathroom guys I've had it for three months and there's still some oil in the bottom so it was worth me picking up another one because it smells incredible so if you guys are looking for home fragrances and you want something for the spring season something floral but warm and seductive and sexy this is going to be the scent that you absolutely need these are probably one of my favorite top products i don't even want to say i like these more than their fragrances but I probably do because I use them and I smell them and they smell just the same as the first day that I opened them up So it does have a little pamphlet here that gives you all the details on the notes of the fragrances They have several to choose from but this one you guys it's amazing. It's top tier It is like the dupe of the flower bomb fragrance, which I actually own so I can tell you firsthand it is identical, you guys. This is what it looks like out of the box. Comes with the oil and then the wooden sticks. And you get a lot of product. Like, I'm going to probably stock up on this. I feel like this is a great signature scent. This is such a good universal home scent. I put mine in my bathroom and I can smell it just walking by the bathroom in the hallway. Putting this by your entryway when you walk into your front door I think would be such a beautiful smell to like welcome yourself back home to and then also keeping this in your kitchen. It's like a light fresh scent that's not overwhelming. It is just such a good like that girl fragrance and the perfume alone is also amazing so if you love that grab it too but for the oil baby don't be asleep on the oil as far as the notes go again i feel like it is literally identical to my victor and rolf flower bomb but it does include bergamot green tea freesia berries white flowers orchid rose musk patchouli caramel and vanilla like it literally is the perfect blend of sweetness and warmth and then also the floral. I love a good balance. I'm not too crazy about just super floral scents. So I think that's why I love this one so much. Here we have a Dossier original scent. After handcrafting over, I think, 100 dupe luxury scents, they came out with their own collection. So these ones come in like the coral packaging and then the other scents come in like this neutral packaging. Also, I have a discount code. If you guys want to shop and save some money at checkout, definitely be sure to utilize Kayla5. To get a little discount so this scent they actually sent me so i didn't get a chance to actually read the notes before picking it out but this is the dossier original ginger and grapefruit zing so i can definitely tell it's going to be very fruity i'm not the biggest fruity girl personally i'm gonna be honest i love warm scents like gourmand fragrances sweet scents woody um oud fragrances kind of masculine sense with a touch of femininity like that's very much on my vibe so we'll see what this one is getting into this one does have top notes of grapefruit pink pepper lime melon fresh ginger jasmine oh i like jasmine cedar wood okay we love that patchouli i love and white musks it's described to be a spicy and citrus scent i'm also not the biggest spicy girly i feel like tom ford does a lot of spicy scents not my favorite but it sounds very much so like that ginger blending naturally with zesty grapefruit supported by a fiery pink pepper and refreshing lime to bring you pure joy with every sniff 
Okay, .ca, so this is what the packaging looks like. Let's see if it's a winner. Fragrances are so unique though too. You gotta just trial and error, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's so spicy. This is definitely unisex. Okay, I'm getting the grapefruit. It's very fresh, but then there's like a punch of just a spiciness. And I'm getting the cedar wood. It has a little bit of like that woodiness too. It's a very interesting blend. Like I would not think to mix grapefruit with cedar wood and ginger. So it definitely has a nice, it got in my eye. It has a very interesting, unique scent. It reminds me of like a Tom Ford blend if you're into like those spicy, heavy fragrances. I feel like this is for the girl or the guy that likes a Tom Ford spicy scent that's strong and kind of woody. This one personally isn't for me because it's not something that I really gravitate towards. Again, I'm a creature of habit, so I like to stick to similar families of like the Gourmands and the Warm Florals, but I love that they're coming out with their own original scents because they do the dupes so freaking well, and it's about that time. So I did pick up another Dossier scent for the spring just to kind of add into my collection. I don't have too many fragrances right now, so I've also been kind of getting a little bit bored of what I have, so I love to get a Dossier to test out new things, maybe to discover something that I don't have that's a little bit more unique even like this I think there's a time and a place for a scent like that I feel like nighttime something about going out in the city and DC looking at museums like why is it giving me that type of energy it's very sophisticated but this one is a vanilla scent I feel like I'm becoming slowly a vanilla girl and at first I didn't love a lot of vanilla fragrances because I found them to be mixed with a lot of coconuts and let me tell you my body chemistry and coconut Oh girl, it is not mixed. You gotta know your body and know what mixes well with your chemistry because coconut scents, while they smell amazing in the bottle, once I put them on my body and it hits the warmth and it kind of mixes in, it ends up smelling like B.O. and very musty. So I have to be careful with the vanilla scents that I do choose. <gasps> no! Why did I just speak too soon? Why does it have coconut? Girl, this is supposed to be the dupe for Juliet Has a Gun. Vanilla Vibes um, Eau de Parfum. I've been wanting this scent for so long at Sephora, but again, it's pricey. I didn't want to like break the bank for a scent that I've not been sure about. So maybe I will like the coconut in here and we'll see because the other notes sound delicious. So it has a blend of red fruits, rose, vanilla, orchid, coconut, musks, sandalwood, and benzoin. I don't know what that last word is but it's 22% concentration and again it's a scent that I've had my eye on that I feel like a lot of girls love whenever I hear people talking about their top fragrances Juliet has a gun is always included in that and I always see it on my Pinterest so we're gonna smell it first off before putting it on because I've never actually smelled it oh it has like a slight powdery smell I don't do powdery either. That's another thing that reminds me of like Chanel scents. It's giving like sophisticated older woman. I don't know. Maybe it's the coconut I'm getting. But it does have like that warmth to it where it kind of reminds me of like a summery scent, like a sunscreen vibe. And I love scents like that. Yeah. What am I picking up on? Oh, is it the sandalwood? Maybe that's what it is. Mmm. I do like it on the paper. I don't smell too much coconut though. Okay, let's test it out on the skin. And if ever I discover a dossier set, it definitely leads me sometimes to pick up the real thing. Like when I had the dupe for a flower bomb. Oh, I ran to the store. I was like, this is so good. Try it before you buy it type of vibe. So, oh, it smells like sunscreen on me. I love scents like that. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of that replica scent. Is it called Beach Walk? Where it just smells like you're literally at the beach. 
I like it so far. We'll see how it continues to dry down, but I'm actually surprised I like this though because of the coconut, but it's definitely giving me that springtime vibe where it's a little bit warmer in the air and the sun is starting to come out and you want to be outside during the day. Like this is a very nice, beautiful, light daytime scent, whereas the Dossier Original Ginger and Grapefruit is definitely very nighttime, sophisticated smell. Two very completely different profiles. So yeah i'm actually really liking this i'm gonna wear this today i'm going to the gym of course so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a spring fragrance haul and review like first impressions of one of my favorite brands dossier so definitely check them out again i'll link them down below little discount code kayla5 will get you guys some savings over at checkout they do bundle deals and they also have a really great return policy if you get fragrances and you're not too obsessed you're not going to be locked into it so definitely utilize the um like return policy and maybe pick something else that you like instead or it's a great time to just try things out and bundle deals and figure out what your own signature scent is for the new season that's here so thank you guys for watching thumbs up for more fragrance reviews and i will see you girls in my next video bye